Good morning. Today I'm going to make these shorts. These are called um, City Gym Shorts. They're made by Pearl Soho, is the um, pattern maker, the designer. And I thought these would be a really great next project to try because, as you can see, it uses some of the bias tape, um, which we made in the last video. And here you can see we're using the bias tape um, as trim around the bottom of the shorts. So this pattern is um, pretty simple. It only has three pattern pieces. You've got the front um, piece, the back of the shorts, and then the waistband. All right, so the first step is to pin your front and back pieces to each other. And again, if you're using fabric that has a clear right and wrong side, you're gonna wanna pin yours together with the right sides facing. And so this is my front piece, so um, we're just gonna pin along this curved cropped seam, um, you know, every inch, uh, depending on the fabric, maybe even closer together than that. This pattern has you pin and sew the cropped seams on both the front pieces and the back pieces. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pin them both now, and then take both of these pieces over to the sewing machine. All right, now we're ready to sew. We're just going to sew with a quarter inch seam allowance and I am going to back stitch both at the beginning and end. Okay, now this pattern in particular instructs you to go back and sew with a zigzag stitch over this seam allowance. Um, the purpose of that is just to finish your seam to make it look clean on the inside of your garment. Um, another option that you could do is just to take pinking shears, which kind of cut a zigzag shape out of the fabric um, and just pink around the seams. You could also, if you have a serger, you could serge the seams. Honestly, I think if you're a beginner, you could probably skip this step. This is really um, mostly just to make the seams look nice on the inside um, and make them look kind of professional and finished. I'm gonna go ahead and do it, um, but you can skip it if you want. Now, if you unfold the front and back pieces that you just sewed, you should have a short end at the bottom of each piece. Match the short end of the front with the short end of the back and sew them together with right sides facing. Now, the front and back of the shorts should be attached along the inseam. The next step is to attach the bias tape trim to the edge of the shorts. Starting at one corner, unfold the bias tape and sandwich the fabric of the shorts inside. Pin as you go and make sure that the fabric is completely within the folds of the bias tape, especially as you go around the curves. Stitch as close as you can to the edge of the bias tape while making sure that you catch both sides with the needle. Okay, so now they're starting to look like shorts. We've attached this bias tape trim. The next step is to um, get the edges lined up and we're gonna sew these side seams. So um, you have your, this is the front of the shorts and this is the wider piece is the back of the shorts. You're gonna fold over this back piece and then you're gonna take the front piece of the shorts and match it up to get this kind of cute little curved hem right here. And then you just do the same thing on the other side. And now they look like shorts. Waistband is next. Press the waistband piece in half long ways, then open it back up, fold the edges to meet at the center crease, and press one more time. Sew the short ends of the waistband together with right sides facing. Turn your shorts right side out, and then match the waistband seam to the center back seam and pin the waistband to the waist edge. Okay, so now we've got the waistband pinned to the shorts, and uh, what we're gonna do now is sew along this crease that I um, pressed into the waistband before we pinned it. And um, the what is supposed to happen here is the width um, between the crease and the edge should be wide enough to hold your elastic. So I'm using one inch elastic and um, I've made my crease, um, according to the pattern instructions, it's just a little over an inch wide. It's, it's actually about a, an inch and a quarter. Um, so I'm just gonna use, instead of trying to match up a seam allowance, I'm just gonna stitch along this crease. Fold the waistband over, encasing the raw edges. Stitch all the way around, but stop about an inch and a half before the end. 
So now we've sewn uh, the waistband on all the way, except for we just left this little gap right here. And that's where we're gonna feed the elastic. What you do is you just put a safety pin through one end to help keep track of it. And we're just gonna kind of shove it through here and use the safety pin to help you hold it from the outside. So now I've got the elastic all the way through, so I'm just gonna overlap the ends by half an inch maybe, and sew them together like this. Make sure that the elastic isn't twisted inside your waistband. I've switched to a zigzag stitch, and I'm just gonna stitch up and down a couple of times. So now we've stitched up the elastic, and the last step is just to tuck it up inside the waistband and try and get it distributed evenly. All right, so now we've got the elastic all the way inside the waistband, so we just need to sew up this last remaining bit that we had left open. So switch your machine back to a straight stitch. You wanna be careful that you're only sewing the edge of the uh, this waistband and that you're not sewing on the elastic itself. All right, so here's the finished product. I hope you like it. I think it turned out pretty well. Um, and I hope you learned some good basic beginner sewing tips. Please join me next time for another project.